Oh my gosh, okay, it's summoned extra stuff. Okay, that's all right, we're killing them nice and quick. Oh, Raven has so much magic damage now. It's out of control. How's going, crew? This is Happy Days, and welcome back to our expert modded mage let's play. And guys, I'm so excited to get back into Raven's adventure today. We've got a lot to do, we've got a lot to explore, and oh my gosh, that mage killing me! No! Oh my goodness, we've got a lot to do, we've got a lot to explore. Oh, it's a sniper! No, 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 please, sniper, please. Not in the intro! No, it's a commando! No, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, no! No! Oh, not in the intro! Yeah, yeah, all right. You're just hilarious dungeon mobs. I'm going to take you on this another sniper. Let's get rid of that. Anyway, guys, as I was trying to say, I'm excited for today's episode. We're going to do a bit of powering up and get some awesome new armor as well. As, oh my gosh, that's a giant minotaur. We're going to be taking on some awesome bosses as well. So I'm really looking forward to that. I've been hit by darkness. Let's get back up to the safety box. I've been doing a ton of farming down here. Oh no, it's a ragged caster. No, please. I'm just trying to do the intro. We've got a bunch of loot. We also got the parts of the master ninja gear that we need. I can see you there, you crazy, crazy skull thing. And uh, we also got this awesome new weapon called Wrath of the Ancients, uh, which is awesome. And um, oh my gosh, okay, tongue died. And what it does is when you cast it, it puts like this stationary magic attack that rains damage down upon enemies, which I really like. I think that is incredible. Also, guys, today we're going to be talking about our potential new series, and I'd really love your input on that. So, yeah, that'll happen later in the video. But I think we've pretty much got everything we need down here. Oh, quick thanks to the supporters always, guys. Almost 2,000 likes on our last Raven episode. That is incredible. Thank you so much. And there's an armor polish. Can I make some room for it? Yes, I can. <laughs> I think that is party stuff. I think we've got everything we need down here. Let's get back to base and craft some awesome new stuff. Ah, uh, it's a nice new day in our base, and I am- Oh, I'm sorry, bunny! Oh, no! And I am ready to do some powerful upgrades for Raven here. So let's go back to our new crafting area upstairs, and Joe the Guide is doing a very strange dance right now. Joe, what are you doing? Oh. Now, I saw there's a new magic weapon we can craft in here called the Legacy. Looks like it's got some pretty nice damage and... Whoa! Look at it go! Oh my gosh, that is awesome. Can't wait to try that out. But we're also going to make something called a Harbinger Catalyst. Um, and we can actually craft some new armor with that because, guys, it has been ages since we got a new armor set. And we are definitely going to need it for some of the boss fights we've got coming up. So let's get that equipped. Let's see what the set bonus is. Uh, maximum mana set to 300. Um, something, something, you become unstable. What's this? Instability. Magic damage increased by 65%. That is absolutely insane. Oh, my goodness. Now, the next thing I need to do, uh, we're actually going to upgrade our Frigid Flashbolt. Uh, it has another upgrade, and I need to make three cores of cinder for that and then we need to go to the bookcase but let's quickly put our nice armor set on the mannequin here or oh, it's actually a woman mannequin there we go and let's go to the wizard's house uh and we're gonna upgrade this and i'm really excited to see what this turns into so let's go over here put my frigid flashbolt in and the cores of cinder and here it is guys <gasps> it's called tears of heaven 130 magic damage Oh my gosh, can't wait to try this out. Let's see what it does, and whoa! Oh my goodness, this is insane! Oh, it's like Mega Water Bolt. Oh wow, gee, it chews through mana though, but oh, that's going to be so awesome. Now the last thing I need to do is actually chat to the guide. No, it's not the guide. The guide, it's the dryad. I need to talk to the witch doctor. I'm going to buy some of these plant era items, um, because we're going to smash up some plant eras. I want to get the uh, Heart of Nature accessory. And the other thing we're going to do, there's so much to craft, oh my gosh. We're going to make our Master Ninja Gear, which is always nice, and that'll replace our Shield of Cthulhu. And I might make a Charm of Myths. Let's swap that over there, very nice. And if we can get that seventh accessory slot, that's going to help a lot. So I'm going to grab some buff potions, guys, and let's get to the jungle and smash some plant terrors. It's okay, little life fruit. Don't be afraid. Raven's just going to eat you. And oh my gosh, guys, we found our first life fruit. Life is good. And we are making our way down into the depths 
of the jungle. Oh my gosh, my health is so low because of this harbinger armor. Oh, oh, hello, there's another life root. Yes, life is good, guys. Life is good. Oh. So yeah, we're on the lookout for life root, but I'm also making my way back to our Plantera arena so we can beat up a bunch of Planteras. Speaking of Plantera, hello, Bulb, how are you? I guess we can fight one in here. Hopefully it's not too small a space. Let's get out into the open here. All right, where are you, Plantera, you crazy plant? Oh, goodness, let's get rid of that hornet. All right, here she comes, here she comes, guys. Woo! Okay, let's use our Atlantis because we are in a very enclosed space here and I'm going to need all the damage I can get. And Oh my gosh, I'm getting slammed. No, no, my Devil's Carapace has already gone off. Don't kill me, Plantera, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, I had 15 hit points left. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, everything is fine, people. Don't you chase me, you sp spiky ball thing. Let's get down here and let's open our treasure bag. Oh my gosh, if we get the heart of nature this early, that would be incredible. You ready? Three, two, one, boom! <gasps> Venus Magnum. Oh, we got Seedling. I have a new pet. <laughs> that is great. Let's swap it over for the Hornet because we've had that for a while now. And let's just get rid of some of that stuff. Very nice. So let's continue on through here. So what we're going to do is get back to the arena and fight a bunch of Planteras all in a row. And don't worry, guys, I'll speed it up for you all because, yeah, Heart of Nature would give us that seventh accessory slot, which is is going to help out quite a bit indeed. We're definitely going to need that. So let's just continue on down here. Uh, look at all these bits where I've blocked the path. I, I, we, it must have been early game when mobs were trying to kill us all the time. Alright, out of the way bees. I think we're here. Yes, okay, here's our arena. Very nice indeed. There's a little bit of honey for happy. Oh, I've got a crystal ball here. Okay, let's use that. And let's get... Oh my gosh, something shooting petals at me. Alright, let's kill those. And let's get our first fight underway, and then I'll speed up the rest of them for you guys. Now, this should be a lot easier uh, because we have a nice open space here. So let's use that. Let's try our new legacy weapon. Wow, okay, it's like it's like a homing attack. Doesn't seem quite as strong as my other stuff, but it is still pretty nice indeed. So let's use, we've used my Wrath of the Ancients. This Atlantis weapon, I think this is a Calamity weapon. It's absolutely crazy though. Look how much damage it does. I think because it does multiple hits, in every attack. It's pretty good. Uh, let's get some more Icor on there. Beautiful. I think we've almost got her. Uh, yep, beautiful. Oh, much easier in a nice open space. Ah! Something shooting lightning at me. Okay, let's hide in the house here. We'll open our next treasure bag and then I'll zoom the rest up, guys. Three, two, one, boom! I got sent out. No, it's your reserve set. Oh, it's Gracie's clothes. Oh, that's so awesome. Now, is this the thing that makes your eyes go crazy? I don't know. Was it? Hang on. How does this work? Um, I, I did a video on this recently and it makes your eyes go funny or something. Or is that a different set? I don't know. Anyway, guys, let me know in the comments. Okay, so leave this up and we'll see if we get some awesome loot. Alright guys, mission complete, we've beaten up all the Planteras, we got a nice trophy, I'm going to have a quick dip in the honey, and let's get into our- Get out of my safety box! Oh my goodness! <laughs> I've put a chest here so we can dump some of the extra loot in there, so let's get our treasure bags up now, I'm going to spam them all open, the Heart of Nature has a 10% chance to drop, so we've got a pretty good chance of getting it from these 9 bags, are you ready? Three, two, one, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> okay, there is stuff going everywhere. I'm seeing, oh, there it is. Yes, oh my gosh, so good. All right, so it says consume, right click to add two accessory slots. Now, you don't, this is a normal mode item. So the Demon Heart's already given me one. So if I do that, yes, okay, we've got our seventh slot. I might put my mana overloader on which gives me even more magic damage. So that's kind of very cool indeed. Let's fill up the loot box some more. Oh, I got the Seedler. That's awesome. I've never used that sword, really. Oh, we got the Axe as well. Oh, very cool indeed. Oh, we got Wasp Gun. We got it all, guys. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, it is time to get on with our adventure. Let's get back to base and plan our next move. You know guys, I was making my way back to base and I'm like, it's a nice night, maybe we should make our way to the Crimson and use this nice little Eye of Desolation and fight a Calamity boss, which is Calamitas. So let's get our buffs on and let's get this fight started. I really want to take on this boss. Let's put down our Wrath of the Ancients and get this fight started in 3, 2, 1, BOOM! Oh my gosh, okay, it's got no modifiers, this is kind of cool. 
Now, if I remember, this boss gets more difficult as the fight goes on. So it looks like we're completely shredding her first form. So that is fine by me. Her, him, I'm not quite sure what gender this is. If it even has one. Oh my gosh, okay, it's some extra stuff. Okay, that's all right. We're killing them nice and quick. Oh, Raven has so much magic damage now. It's out of control. Oh, goodness, there's stuff going everywhere, though. Throwing on a heal. I don't think Icor appears to be working here, so that's fine. We might use some of our Tears of Heaven uh, because it has a nice homing attack. Yeah, that's going to help out quite a bit. All right, there's some hearts for happy down there. I should probably try and save some of those. Oh my gosh, a crazy eyeball! It's a miniature one! Oh no, it's it summoned the brothers again. Oh goodness, okay. That's alright, our Atlantis should help here. Oh goodness! Okay, I think we killed them. Beautiful. There's hearts for happy going everywhere. Let's pick them up. Hearts for happy. Oh, okay, we need our powers, guys. We need to owl it up. Oh, just die, you crazy thing! Oh my gosh, there's items going everywhere. I can't even stop to see what we're getting. Alright, let's put our Wrath of the Ancients back up. Tears of Heaven, you're going to have to do it for me. Come on, kill it, kill it, kill it. Oh my gosh, there's stuff everywhere. Oh no, it's summoned them again. Stop summoning the brothers. Okay, there we go. I think I got some hearts or something. I'm not quite sure what. Oh goodness, just keep moving. Ooh, how many hippo? Yes, I think we got it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that was out of control. <laughs> oh, okay, we got some honey. Let's get in the safety box. Oh my gosh. Oh, what was... Look at all this stuff. Calamity Biome Spawner. Right click to use. Only use if you don't have Calamity Biome. Oh, that's kind of cool. I think I need the Calamity Biome. So that's awesome. Havoc's Breath. Brimstone Flame Blaster. Flame Blaster. Oh, I got two flamethrowers. That's kind of awesome. Let's just give him a quick go. Oh, that's pretty awesome. And that one... Whoa, check that out. It's like... Oh, that is wicked. Cool. But now it is time. Let's open up our treasure bag. Are you ready, guys? Let's see what we get. Three, two, one, boom! <gasps> Hard Void of Calamity. Cursed. 15% increase to most damage and 10% increase to summon. Ooh, that's not bad. Might swap that with my Mana Overloader. I kind of like that. We've got Ashes of Calamity and we just got some normal stuff as well. Very cool indeed, guys. I think it's time to continue on with our adventure. Let's zoom ahead. No! No! Oh my gosh, stop killing my NPCs, you crazy solar eclipse! Oh my goodness, we gotta get away from the town, people! We gotta get away from the town! And I'm almost dead too, let's just run for our lives! Oh, it's Mothron! Actually, I do need to kill a Mothron uh, to get a broken hero staff, because I think we can upgrade some of our sort of Knight's Edge magic weapons, so that's pretty cool! What did it drop? Oh my gosh, it dropped heaps of stuff! Whoa, I got a broken hero scythe, broken hero staff! That is amazing! Oh, a vampire! Oh my gosh, I need moon... Is it moonstone? Moon charm? No, moonstones. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff I actually need to get. So, this is kind of cool indeed. Now, I said at the start of the video, I wanted to talk about our potential next series. And it has to do with Calamity Mod, especially now. At the start of our last Raven video, I actually said we were getting near the end of the series. Because, you know, Raven's adventure has been about uh, finding out why she turned evil. So, what... She was a nice young girl, what made her turn so bad, and we're kind of almost to the part of the story where we're going to find that out. It'll be happening in the next episode or so. Now, I'm thinking with Calamity, guys, uh, because we're playing on Expert and because we're doing class-based Let's Plays, I can't really experience all of the content. We can't use all the weapons, all the armors, all of that stuff, and I feel like it's not as much fun as it could be if we were just doing, like, a focused playthrough, like like we did with our Sophie series uh, and our Thorium series, where we just focused on the mod um, and used all the weapons and all the armor. So, what I'm suggesting, guys, is that we do, like, a super modded Calamity series, and I'm just putting it out there, you know, as always, I'll listen to what the community wants as well. So we could do a super modded series, add, like, 20 or 30 mods, but focus mainly on Calamity and use all the weapons, all the armors have a cool story. Oh my gosh, don't die, I'm trying to talk! <laughs> um, yeah, have a really cool story, and the goal could be actually killing uh, the final super boss. Is it true Calamitas? Um, and that could be the goal of the adventure, like we did with Stacy's one. Oh, yes, a moonstone, a moon charmy stone thing. Ah! <laughs> I can't pick it up, I'm full. All right, let's just get rid of the blighted lens. Very nice. Oh, my gosh. Um, yeah, so that could be kind of cool. So what I want you guys to do is let me know in the comments how you feel about that. I personally feel it would be a lot more fun 
and we can make a massive awesome base, display all the weapons and armor, and sort of just, yeah, have a lot of fun with the series. It could be longer than usual, uh, because there's a lot to explore. But uh, let me know in the comments how you're feeling about that anyway. So guys, looking at the time, we might start to wrap that up there for today. Oh my gosh, I hope I don't die. I'm just trying to finish the video. Smash that like button if you enjoyed our Raven series. And keep your tips and tricks coming in the comments below. I appreciate it as always. Subscribe if you want to see more content from me. And here's the most important part. As always, you will stay happy and I'll see you soon. This is Happy Day. Sign out. See ya.